Ollie. Are you sad you're leaving? Yeah, you're sad. That there is a tornado watch against the current, and, and the wind is against Please it. Please focus. There's some Palak Paneer. We're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we booked a one-way flight to Colombia, and after traveling to 11 countries, we were locked down in India for five months. Coming back to the U.S., we decided to pivot into boat life and cruise on a 6,000-mile journey called America's Great Loop. Make sure to subscribe as we share the highs, lows, and everything in between. Good morning, we are off the dock and heading north on America's Great Loop. The past four days were spent not vlogging, just getting to know our really good friends um, here in Savannah. And we spent a lot of time working as well and just, you know, kind of taking a little bit of a break. But now we are back heading north. A little sad that we didn't explore downtown Savannah, but we've done that many times and highly, highly recommend you stop at one of the great marinas here in Savannah. Thunderbolt, there's a safe harbor, Isle of Hope, and just grab an Uber to go downtown. It's just such a really cool city and a lot of history. But today, we're going to Buford, one of our favorite, favorite southern cities. And uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a, not too great of a weather day, but that's all right, we're cruising. Ollie, are you sad you're leaving? Yeah, you're sad. Yeah. I did change the fuel filter and pivot started really well today, so we're going to keep an eye on make sure we don't have that uh, engine problem before and then we'll keep track of the next few cruises uh, I really do think that it was that um, just not changing the fuel filter out uh, within the specified time uh, but that's kind of what it is you got to figure out like for your boat your engine and for your maintenance schedule what works so yeah live and learn seen so many loopers today. We had a lot of thunderstorms and bad weather the past couple days. So this is the day to make some miles and everybody that was in Savannah for the thunderstorms and there's actually a tornado warning while we were there. Um, they're all leaving today. So we were just passed by two loopers. We saw a bunch of them as we were preparing to leave today. Um, some are going to Hilton Head, some are going to Beaufort. Those are like the next two stops that people would normally go to. But right now, we are crossing the Savannah River. So this is one of the uh, top few ports in the United States. And this river is where they come in from the ocean. So we're gonna go ahead and switch our radio to 1316. This 13 is a lot of the big boat traffic. Just to listen, uh, we don't have AIS, so they can't see us coming um, unless they're seeing us visually. So we're gonna keep our eye out, but it looks like, I mean, I don't see any big ships coming in right now or leaving right now. So it looks like it should be a pretty smooth crossing. Savannah River. Savannah's all the way up there. Where's the dolphin? I don't think there's a dolphin. I think this is just the Savannah River. That's why I was excited. If you find one, you tell me, okay? Thanks. We are just now coming through the Savannah River. There is no traffic, so it's nice. But on the other side of the Savannah River is our third state of this great loop. South Carolina. Jen's uh, downstairs doing some stuff, so whenever she comes up, celebrate. The Savannah River borders it, so this island right here on the other side is Jones Island, and it's Jones Island, South Carolina. Cool. You know what this is? We're in South Carolina! Woo! Our third state, baby! Woo! Yay! Dolphin! 
I did see one earlier. Come on. Come on. While Elliot is up here cruising for the majority of today, I will be downstairs kind of tidying up. We did some laundry while we were at Adrian and Karen's as well as a big provisioning run. So I had to put away a bit of the like pantry and more like storage area items as well as just putting away clean clothes, tidying up and that kind of stuff. We were able to do a really large like deep clean of the boat um, which was awesome and now it's just kind of putting stuff back because our tiny home gets very untidy very quickly very very quickly There's a dolphin at the bow. Ollie doesn't know about it yet. This right here is my favorite part about owning a boat and about doing America's Great Loop, the dolphin. Wow, that dolphin was swimming with us for probably a good like three Ollie. minutes or so. And Ollie is upset about that. Another favorite part, obviously, on the Great Loop is meeting all the wonderful people, visiting all the great places. But one of my favorite parts of being on the boat and traveling by boat is the dolphins. Even on days like today, where the clouds off in the distance are like different shades of light blue and gray, and it just has this like, I guess blue-gray kind of feel all around. I think it's really pretty. I mean, yeah, it's just, there's so many different variations and hues of these colors that it is just beautiful. Really enjoying it today. This has got to be one of the narrowest sections of the entire ICW here in South Carolina. It just passed the, yeah, here in the first part of South Carolina. Like, there's like, I don't know, 30 feet maybe? In between these markers? It's definitely because of shoaling and it's not for the entire channel, but yeah, it's just, you just see it and you just feel like you're like going through like a slalom course or something. It would be the most unexciting slalom course of all time. Traveling on trawler speed. Just like that, we're through. We're following the uh, Bob 423 track on Aqua Maps right now. And it's going well. You know, if you don't have the tracks, you gotta get them. We have the latest one that we've heard. So this is the November tracks. Um, and I guess once Bob goes back up north, or when he gets an update of people coming south, they'll update the tracks. Oh man, the rain's here. Ollie, don't you step on the cameras. Whew. It's been kind of cloudy all day, and just now the rain sort of pelting. But you know, I don't want to cruise inside. It's the fun in that. So I'm kind of stuck in the middle of the fly bridge, like standing up. Only part of my body is getting wet, so I have all the electronics on this side. There's definitely times like these where I can see the value in a full enclosure up here. But, yeah, it is what it is. 
And just like that, the sun is out again. Oh, a dolphin. That looks like a lot of fun parasailing here in Hilton Head. Um, definitely a bucket list item for us. Or I guess for me. I don't know if Jennifer wants to do it, but it seems like it'd be a lot of fun somewhere in the world. And here it's a very windy day, so they're probably getting quite the breeze up there. Um, it's not very sunny, but it's really nice temperature wise. It's like mid 60s or low 70s. This is our third time coming through Hilton Head. The first time we vlogged it and we anchored just by this bridge. It's not the bridge that you go through whenever you're coming under because there's not enough height. It was okay. There was a lot of boat traffic. All the small boats kind of use that to go out to, out to the sea instead of coming around the bend that most trawlers do or most loopers do. And then the other place we stayed was just a little bit west and that was in Brighton Beach. and. That had really good dog access with the public dock and you know you could walk around. We didn't check out downtown, but you know it was nice and it was off the main off the beaten path. It was it was good. So if you're gonna stop here, that's an option. There's also the marina here, and I believe it's 225 a foot, so that's yet another option. And then you could actually explore Hilton Head Island, which would probably be pretty fun. I just finished tidying up and it's good. It's always like whenever we leave Pivot or we have guests on Pivot, it just Pivot becomes a little bit more disheveled, I guess, than um, normal. So it's nice to come back and tidy up, get everything like just the way that we have it. So all's good. The rain is back and we have some dark clouds coming into Port Royal, so we are going to be moving inside. Just in time. The rain is here. We don't really know where Ollie is. I think she's outside. It's only outside. Ollie! <laughs> Probably sitting upstairs in her she, Oh, she's, she just came downstairs. Okay, come on, come on. Come inside, on. inside. You are wet, girlfriend. Oh, good call. Wow. This, I think this is the rain that's here to stay. It's, you know, it's coming. Ollie, how's the view? This is, I mean, we, we normally put, sometimes we'll put Ollie places, but sometimes she'll just go where she wants to go. This is where she wants to be right now, watching the raindrops fall on the window. Keep an eye out for the, uh, you know, a lot of bad light. Ever since we had our really rough crossing the St. Andrews Sound just south of Jekyll Islands, we're like extra cautious about going into a sound. And this one, Port Royal Sound, we also had, I mean, it wasn't that bad, but we had some rough weather when we were crossing it last year. Um, so we're like keeping an eye on, you know, are any other boats out here right now? Are all the boats coming in? You know, it's storming out there. So we're just keeping an eye on it, but it looks like for the most part, it's relatively calm right now. So it's, it looks like it's pretty good for us. We'll the last bite.
We just got an alert on our iPad that there is a tornado watch in the area, which is not good, but um, the wind isn't too crazy right now. But we're going to be looking out and keeping an eye on everything. Keep an eye on everything too, okay? It is definitely quite a bit more rough towards the northern part of the uh, Port Royal Sound. Almost through. I've been going with the swell the entire time, and now we have to pack back over for just a very small section. Now there's white caps out there. Now there's white caps out there. Wind is picking up. It's supposed to be windy tomorrow and the next day, so. And this evening, actually. So we just realized why it's so rough here. And it's something that like we've heard about and we've seen before, but it's because of the wind versus the current. So when we are exiting St. Simon's Island, it's a falling tide, the tide is going with our westerly wind. And right now we have a falling tide, so now we're going against the against the current. Woo! And the wind is against it. Yes. Well, that was rough. We have survived. We are going into the Beaufort River now, and we have. Uh, following the seas, so it's not as bad as it was when we were turning the corner. We have about a few more miles, but we're now we're going against the current, so this few miles is gonna take a while until we arrive in Beaufort. Now that we've gotten into about a lot more calmer waters. I am starting to prep dinner for tonight. And tonight we are having palak paneer, which palak means spinach in Hindi and paneer means cheese. Or is there like type of mozzarella, semi-firm cheese. The dolphins are so playful today. It's really so awesome. It's so, it's so awesome. It just, yeah, it makes our cruise. Beaufort's all the way over there, we're getting there. We are now in Beaufort, South Carolina. Our first stop here in South Carolina. There are a bunch of different areas here that you can anchor in. There's somebody right here anchoring right outside, uh, right next to the mooring field. There's another anchorage just slightly further down the river. Um, there's also a few in South Beaufort. There's just a lot of options. There's also the mooring field, so that's an option if you have some really, really bad weather coming in or if you want to have access to the facilities. The free town dock is over here uh, and right off of historic Beaufort. So that's what you want to keep in mind when you choose your place to anchor. Oh, it looks like this sailboat is pulling up right now. Um, we're going to go just beyond the bridge. There's an anchorage if you tuck on over into this town on the other side of Beaufort. So it's not technically in Beaufort, but you basically just dinghy ride across the bridge and you're in Beaufort. And there's also a town fishing dock and town launch ramp that you can use to take, you know, your ollie to shore later. 
So it really works out um, just on the other side of the bridge. It's quite a bit more protected. Uh, we're gonna have gusts up to the up to 30 knots tomorrow. So it would be nice to be a little bit more protected. So we're going on through. Going on through. Too much spinach. It's literally a pound and a quarter of spinach. That's some BJ spinach right there. <laughs> it is some BJ spinach. To be honest though, normally we don't eat this much, but we do like this recipe so much, so we know that we're gonna really like the leftovers and want the leftovers. But we're probably cooking like three times the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Wild. It is. <laughs> oh, the story of my life. So all of that spinach made this much like palak sauce. So it's really not that much. It's probably like two or three cups. No, it, maybe what, three or four cups. Is it curry or? Um, not yet. No. I think this is called like, this is called like the gravy, which is a sauce, mm. essentially. For some more butter. Everything is better with butter. Butter makes it better. Butter makes it better. Now we are at the final stage and we are mixing the like onion and the more like spice mixture with the spinach mixture and with the paneer, the cheese, all together. Here we come. Mmm, that looks pretty good. Now the cheese is very hard cheese, like a mozzarella, and so it doesn't like dissolve in the sauce or cook down and like melt. This stays like pretty chunky, kind of like chicken wood or tofu wood. Oh my goodness, cream. Mmm, oh. mm. All right, who's coming aboard Pivot? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you at? Karen, Adrian, come back. They never left, we left. Yeah, oh yeah. That is some Palak paneer. So on this side we have Jira rice cooked in our Instapot. And Jira is, Jira is cumin in Hindi. Kind of all to the side, oopsies. Oh, There's yeah. some in there. That's some Indian rice too. Mm. Smells good. It smells oh, really good. Yeah. Schwadisht, which means delicious. Delicious in Hindi. Oh, Ollie, where's your bowl? She doesn't get a bowl. Where's your bowl? No bowl for Ollie. Do you get some polak paneer? Can you, do you want a polak paneer? We really enjoyed that Palak paneer for dinner and tomorrow we hope you stay tuned because tomorrow we are exploring one of the great southern towns of Beaufort, South Carolina. Now we've been here twice before and we have absolutely loved our time here so we are thrilled to be back. We are really really excited so we hope you stick around. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did give it a thumbs up and we'll see you tomorrow. Ciao. Oh it's gonna be at the helm. 
I'll be downstairs. Get the fly. Is that, is that a thunderstorm? Wow.